Hey, good morning, everyone. Let's have a look at some new cars right now. By the way, this is Paul from the Daily Dose, and welcome back to the channel. I hope uh, this time the video or the audio is uh, much better. So, anyways, tons of uh, new cars coming soon. Let's start off first with some new cars from Matchbox and have a look at this. Looks like a brand new casting right here. From Matchbox, uh, yeah, looks like a Bollinger B1 or B2. Uh, I just I just googled the uh, uh, the Bollinger uh, vehicles and it kind of looks like it. Uh, yeah, this looks fantastic. I do love like the all black colorway in this, and I do believe like, a lot of you out there are excited uh, with this one. And also right here. Yeah, look at that. Look at the photo. Yeah, that's the Bollinger right there on the uh, top left. So I do love the colorway. It looks like uh, it will be part of a moving uh, moving parts uh, series with that opening hood. So that looks interesting. The other cars here, yeah, that blue one. I don't know what exactly that is. Uh, I think that is an unlicensed uh, casting or a uh, fantasy casting then yeah what looks like a Bronco and a uh, Bugatti Devo I think so yeah here you go better photos of that Bollinger uh, pickup so that looks amazing so yeah just detailed front and rear for this on the side it just has like that matchbox uh, logo yeah and I still like that a lot even though the details uh, is quite simple for this one so yeah that that is an amazing looking vehicle so yeah for this yeah you see I think that the red one is the uh, Honda CVCC just correct me if I'm wrong I always make a mistake uh, on that car and yeah there's the new ford bronco that looks nice yeah there you go it has like that national parks livery so i'm crossing my fingers that that is a national parks ford bronco i am excited with that one especially yeah for me that is one of my favorite liveries from uh from yeah from matchbox national parks i just love the colorway uh, on that one so yeah that that one is a must-have if you have to ask me the matchbox has yeah i think they're trying to uh just to push the ford bronco casting then uh, yeah here is that yellow bugatti devo that is an amazing looking car as hell yeah doesn't have details though up front as you see so that is a surprise but yeah, that looks lovely still so those are some of the uh, matchbox uh, moving parts cars some main lines and uh, yeah also a new a bollinger right there which is really nice so yeah what are your favorite ones for uh, for this for matchbox leave a comment down below and they also check out this brand new Hot Wheels Race Team 10 pack. Some some of the cars in this I really like. Some are quite okay, honestly. Well, yeah, some are, of course like uh, they are fantasy casting, but yeah, I do love the McLaren right there. Um, yeah, the Porsche looks really nice. Yeah, I think that is uh, an Alfa Romeo. The blue one there is an NSX and yeah some more fantasy casting uh, down below I think yeah that is a Lancia right again guys just correct me if I'm wrong okay but yeah but still pretty nice 10 pack honestly uh, not really a must have if you have to ask me because there's just uh, tons of fantasy casting out there yeah I remember someone uh, commented why Hot Wheels uh, would put 
fantasy casting in like uh, multi packs. My guess is for yeah for the for the cars to sell. Imagine if they don't put any fantasy castings out there, and knowing that most collectors, even the kids right now, I have noticed a lot of kids not buying fantasy castings. I remember back then when I was a kid, I just don't mind if they were fantasy casting or not. Uh, I, I would, of course, let my uh, dad buy them, but right now, sad reality for collectors. As we grow old, we, we, uh, we get so picky with uh, what we buy and sometimes we just buy uh, the hype I'm guilty of that uh, are you also guilty of that yeah sometimes only not all the time of course but yeah I think that's the reason why Hot Wheels would put fantasy casting in like probably 90% or more uh, of their uh, multi packs and this is a really cool product for Majorette uh, they they call this the grand series uh, for this year and uh, this is the Mac granite tow truck yeah that is really cool and I just love also the colorway in this yeah maybe you have noticed I always talk about colorways but it is one of the main reasons why I buy certain uh, cars and yeah this just looks really cool the baby blue and uh, yeah, orange colorway. So th that is a Mac Granite tow truck for their yeah, part of the Grand Series for this year. Hopefully, a lot of us or most of us can get this. This is quite amazing. If you have to uh, to ask me, and also right here, yeah, how about this? They have the Murray's bus. That is a Man Lions coach, and uh, yeah, that is really nice man that looks cool honestly but honestly yeah for for majorette to do this to do that i mean yeah that is really cool we don't see a lot of buses um uh, from like yeah for example hot wheels yeah, they do have some but uh just uh, sometimes and i think the, their buses are also like fantasy casting so this is really quite nice right there yeah and also right here how about that the brand new vw uh, t1 pickup is uh, out now in some parts of the world and this is so cool again i just love the colorway and uh, yes also the accessory on top so one thing though i would like major to do because i have noticed some some of their like uh paint in like some of the cars tend to uh, like chip quite easily if you like yeah for example if you have like to uh, open the doors they do uh chip quite easily so i'd like for them to uh improve on the the quality uh, on their paint moving forward so yeah that's all just quick update uh for uh, for you guys and uh uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the show and please subscribe and like the video and uh, see you on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.